to Cambodia. We are in Phnom Penh and this is our actually second day here. We have absolutely hid from the sun for the last few days. It is so hot here. I think it's like 38 degrees so we've been struggling a little. <laughs> so this is country number six for us so we're really excited to get in and explore and see what Cambodia has to offer us. Behind us you will see the independence monument which marks the independence of Cambodia from France which happened in 1953 and it's actually modelled after the central tower of Angkor Wat which is in um, Siem Reap. Just after the independence monument there's this beautiful walkway that kind of goes all the way straight down to the river and it L shapes down so there's such a beautiful walkway and it's really clean and well kept and it's nice because the other parts of the city that we've seen so far it's really difficult to walk um, and this bit kind of comes alive at night so we walked down here last night and there was people dancing, playing football, running, street food and stuff so hopefully we can catch a little bit of that later on to show you guys. Yeah it's pretty quiet just now but I think that's due to the fact that we're the only two crazy people that are coming out in this heat <laughs> um, but yeah I'm sure there's still lots for us to see and show you as well. So this is how you get petrol in Cambodia. In these little Coca-Cola bottles. Yep, that's where you get your petrol in Cambodia. And an old Coke bottle at the side of the road. <laughs> Why not? It's probably cheaper. So we've noticed just from walking around, there's all these buildings. But they have really fancy roofs, almost like temples, like this one right here. There's a sign there, it said it's a Buddhist library. It's pretty cool. So just behind us is the Mekong Delta and I think it runs from Laos all the way down and through to Cambodia which is pretty cool. Quite sad to see some rubbish. So I'm going to guess that this is the flag of Phnom Penh and that might actually be my favourite flag, I'm literally obsessed with flags. And I can tell you that the Cambodia flag is the only flag in the world that has a building on it and I think it's the Angkor Wat. We have reached the Royal Palace Park so there's lovely grounds all around the palace and behind us you will see the palace. Um, unfortunately it's shut today so we're not able to go in and see what is inside but it looks absolutely stunning, lovely orange, gold, green colours and the grounds are kept absolutely spotless, it's amazing. Hello. So we have to grab a sugar cane juice as always when it's too hot. It's like the most refreshing drink when you're too warm, it kills you right down, it's so satisfying. And this one costs 2,000 which is 50 cents I think. Could be way off, I have no idea. Not too happy about the colour of straw, but we move. <laughs> Never drank out a green straw in my life. Oh my god. Best one yet? Best one yet. I've said that <laughs> in every single country I've had one. Oh, it's so good. It's almost like creamy, this one. Mm. Oh my god. I could literally drink like cup after cup of this stuff. It's so good, but I think we'll give That's Shannon fine. a little try. It is actually the best one yet. <laughs> it is. Do you think it's a little bit creamy? Mm. It was so cool how it was like made. She turned our engine on for our our bike and then it had like a, a tube that looked like a hose and it just came pouring out that. It's amazing how they make things work here. So as we finish our sugar cane juice we're just going to check out the front of the Royal Palace. As we said earlier we can't get in just now because it's closed but that's alright. It's pretty beautiful from the outside so we'll Observe from here. So we're just going to go back to the hotel. We've lasted about just over an hour and it's just the temperature is just far too extreme. So we're going to head back to the hotel, jump in the pool for a bit and then 
we'll head back out later when it's a wee bit cooler and show you some more of Pen on Pen. Because actually um, I have my website and I have my uh, wow. YouTube channel as well. My name's So Fun. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm very happy that you're doing this job to tell the tourists about uh, Cambodia, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, right? That's going to help yes. Cambodia also help the travelers yeah, to bring more people to visit yeah, yeah, it's our beautiful country. Place. Yeah. This one, right? Yeah. Just one like. Oh, thank you. All. Notifications on. <laughs> so we're back out. It's uh, like four hours or something's passed. The sun's gone down, but it's still absolutely roasting. But it's not as bad because the sun's not shining on us. And this is the exact same bit we were in earlier on. It was like a ghost town, and now look at it. Or must that be in their bare feet and running the concrete? Yeah, we've just been in up here daydream walking down here and realised that we're actually the only people walking in this direction, so let's go this yeah. way. I think it's like a walking circuit around this little place. They're very active, the Cambodians are always doing stuff at night. <laughs> Do you know what I've noticed? Like, see all the Asian countries we've been to, like, all the cities make sure that they use, like, every bit of space they have. There's, there's like, a square, a park. There's always activities and so much going on for everyone that's here. It's so, so amazing. There's just genuinely people everywhere. Every street you walk down, there's just more and more people out hanging around with their families, just kind of playing. It's amazing. <laughs> really nice to see on a Friday night. I know, it feels like a like a festival or a carnival. There's like all those wee daft wee toys you get, balloons, bubbles, everything. It's so fun. So one thing we've noticed um, that's different about Cambodia to the other countries in Southeast Asia is the cars on the road. There is literally like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royce, big G-Wagons, everywhere. So we have just arrived at the Pen on Pen um, weekend market, so it's on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So it looks pretty big, so I'm excited to see what they have. I love that, it's like a, a picnic mat and you just sit. It's so cool and you've got all your sauces and condiments there as well. Probably I'd say my least favourite market we've been to so far. There's not much going on here and then we're now just walking through the bit with um, belts and shoes and stuff though. I think we've just done this market in about two minutes. It wasn't really up to much. Yeah, it's slightly disappointing. Yeah. I was hoping we were going to get some nice food. Um, food's pretty expensive for street foods. It's like $5 for a fried rice. Yeah, I was hoping we were going to get to try some you know, new food and pick up things as we walked around but there was only like 10 vendors and it was all just as Shannon said it was like five dollars for rice so not worth it but we'll push on and find something else I got in. Oh, it's free. Yeah, free, free, free. You sure? Yeah, no way. Tomorrow you can tell your friend to come here. We got free. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. So Thank you so much. much. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Over there, have a nice day. Thank you. Wow. So we were just walking back to like our hotel, and we saw this market. It says it's like a family market. And this woman approached us, like asking if we would support her business just by liking it on Facebook. And she's gave us a free beer each. Like, how nice is that? Like, I think, well, let me find the company name. It's called Engage Cambodia. Yep, anything that's free is good for me. So, cheers. And cheers. Happy Friday. So, with a good first day, proper exploring Phnom Penh, we love walking about despite the heat. <laughs> I mean, it's still absolutely roasting now. And we're really excited to see what else it is. 
and to try some Cambodian food. We'll be here for about a month, so if anyone has any recommendations of activities or things we should see or any local food that we should try, then um, please let us know in the, the comments section um, and we'll try as much as we can. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.